As I have said before, I was not expecting to find evidence for ghostly activity in UFO photographs. But then, what on earth is meant by ghostly? Is it a cultural thing, or is it something that merely looks like the cultural presumptions? Well, in Garden City, Hertfordshire, June 6, 2013. The following frame-by-frame -frame analysis was produced via my usual video to JPEG conversion technique. All of the following frames have been contrast enhanced. For greater clarity, the frames have been cropped to the approximate size of the red box. Even with heavy contrast enhancement, these objects still have an ethereal quality. It's a strange metallic shape in this frame, although it looks as though it had been painted to look like a tin can. Are these objects cloaked? How do they manage to morph between frames? What is their size and distance? Even though they morph at no time, do these objects ever look like anything I've ever seen in my life? Bizarrely, a ghost of the ghostly object remains for a few frames, but it is completely gone by frame 3511. In this frame, the object looks like a tin can, but it's a can with ghostly properties.
but here we have an anomaly within an anomaly. This is the lingering ghost of an object that already has ghostly properties. Again, here is the lingering ghost of an object that already has ghostly properties. The ghost of the ghost dissipates over a period of about one-sixth of a second in real time.